Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Russ Rollins with the Monsters in the Morning, Real Radio 104.1. I've been here almost 30 years, uh, and listeners probably already know these top five. But I'm going to bring you the top five things Russ Rollins loves, starting off at number five. Number five is Batman. So my love for Batman started when I was a kid. Here's a picture of me as a little fat kid with my Batman t-shirt. Then as I got older, I uh, had problems reading. I didn't really like to read very much. Uh, I might have had dyslexia, not really sure about that, but I know the only thing I really could pay attention to was Batman comic books. So I started reading Batman comic books like these. As I got older, I kept reading Batman. I got a Batman tattoo. It's just, it just been my thing for a long time. And it inspired me to want to write my own comic book. Batman is about a guy who's got like two different personalities, right? Well, I wrote a, uh, a comic book or actually a graphic novel. And it's uh, based on really inspired by my wife, uh, who is a wonderful, great person who's a paramedic. And what would happen if she was, uh, you know, uh, possessed by a serial killer, a real serial killer from the uh, 1800s named Jolly Jane. And that's what this whole thing is about. Matter of fact, the very first scene in the graphic novel is something that actually happened to Mary Ellen when she was a paramedic. Look at this picture. That was someone telling her, hey, let that guy die or I'm going to shoot you in the head. She's had a bunch of crazy things happen to her as a paramedic for 25 years. So uh, I used her as a uh, uh, as an inspiration to write Jolly Jane. Here, Here's now the graphic novels that I've uh, written. With the help of Jeff Kaufman and Big City Comics, here's just some of the graphic novels that I've written. And here is the very first Jolly Jane. And... Uh, Pretty proud of it. It turned out it turned out really, really good. So uh, yeah, kind of helped make my dreams come true. Number four is the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, or more specifically, professional wrestling. I had a love for professional wrestling as a kid. Uh, I think I was probably around eight or nine that I would watch professional wrestling. If I got like A's on my report card, my dad would take me out to the Eddie Graham Sports Center and I had to go see the American Dream of the Road. He was always my favorite. Check it out. So uh, as I grew up, I, it's something I really wanted to do. All rise. All rise. All rise. chance to be a professional wrestler in several matches uh, against uh, Norman Smiley, against the green, uh, the big blue meanie, uh, against uh, classy Chris Nelson. And my biggest match was this one you'll see here in a second. It was with Mark Marrow and Jeff Jarrett against me and the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, my hero as a kid. It was so cool. Get over! 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 Get over!
Top five loves of Russ Rollins. Number three is Kiss. From the time I was a kid, I always loved uh, Kiss. Now, here's the thing. I think I liked him because nobody else liked him. And it was a band that you could enjoy by yourself. And you did not care what anyone else thought. You loved Kiss. And I've stuck with them my entire life. And I've got to, I had a chance to meet like every member of the band, which is super cool. Check this out. Many different concerts. So because I was such a huge Kiss fan, I wanted to do something on stage. So uh, back in the day, we uh, had a band, a monster band, and I played the drums and I put all the pyro around my drum kit so uh, I could feel like I was Peter Chris. So I got to make that dream come true, which was pretty cool. Number two is radio, more specifically, the Monsters in the Morning. I was an eight year old little fat kid who loved to listen to talk radio. It was weird. None of my friends liked listening to talk radio. They didn't understand why I liked it. I would hide this little round radio. It looked like this. I would hide that under my pillow and listen to talk radio at night. My mom would come in and tell me, turn that radio off. Uh, and then as I got older, I fell in love with the Ron and Ron show. Uh, it was, it was my favorite. I listened to every second I could. This was before you go back and listen on a podcast. You had to catch it all live, you know, and what they did with creating, uh, a, just a group of people for a cast. I absolutely love. And when I got old enough, I'm like, I want to do that. And I want to be remembered to be uh, as good as, as great as Ron and Ron one day. That was my, that was my goal. And thank God, you know, they, they had a great run of about five years and the monsters of the morning, we've been going now for almost, almost 30, but uh, I got a hats off to the guys that made me love radio. And that's uh, the, the guys from Ron and Ron, but the, the monster show has been you know, great love of my life. And uh, I've had a lot of incredible, just incredible cast members that are super talented. Many gone on to do their own show, do their own thing. And um, and that's good. There ain't nothing wrong with that. That's the way it should be. Uh, there's always gonna be people leaving. But uh, I uh, I enjoy doing the show and have been for, for almost 30 years, right here on Real Radio 104.1, the same radio station, which is really weird. Uh, and... Uh, and yeah, actually have been named one of the top 100 talk show hosts in the in the country by Talkers Magazine. And I understand this is probably sounding corny, but the number one thing I love in my life is my wife and my family. And uh, I don't know if I would have said that before, but uh, now I do. My wife and my family is number one. My dear old dad passed away a couple years ago, and we sure do miss him. Uh, uh, I love my mama. I am a mama's boy, and I uh, uh, I think I've, uh, I have a lot of my mom's personality for sure. I have a wonderful sister that I love to death, and uh, two wonderful kids. My son, Ryan Rollins, who's awesome, and my beautiful daughter, Brittany Rollins, who uh, who is a teacher, and I couldn't be any more proud of her. Uh, Here's my wife, Mary Ellen. We met on Match.com, believe it or not, and got engaged in a week and married within the month. Now, I know that sounds crazy, and I know that sounds ridiculous, but we both knew it was right, and it's been a wonderful, incredible four years that we've been together and I've never been happier. So uh, I gotta say, I love my wife the most. She is uh, absolutely amazing. So uh, those are the five loves 
of uh, Ross Rollins. Now, did you think I was going to give you like the top five women I've married and dated in order and, and all that? That would be ridiculous. Uh, who would do that for ratings or for hits or for YouTube hits or subscriptions? That would be... Okay, next week, I'll bring you the top five <laughs> loves of my life. Look for that. And thank you for listening to the Monsters of the Morning on Real Radio 104.1. I hope this helps you know me just a little bit.